Hi guys. Hey guys. We're alive. <laughs> yep. And we're still here. We're still here. Um, we have had a crazy week. Two weeks. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. So um, I will be talking about Sensi stuff in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but before I do, I just want to give like a little update about mm -hmm. what's been going on in our world. So um, I guess th so there's the Frodo thing mm -hmm. and then the AC thing. Yep. So I think it started with Frodo. Frodo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, about two weeks ago, um, he got us up in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. one night, and that's you know sometimes a dog has to do things in the middle of the night, and that's normal once in a while. Very rare for him. Right. Well, very, he, well, very rare. he puked that night, and that yeah. was that's normal. I mean, once in a while, normal. Mm -hmm. And he's good. So <laughs> typically, in the middle of the night, he'll try to go to the tile floor to instead puke. of the carpet. Instead of the carpet, he'll try to make his way to either the entryway or a bathroom. Yeah, which is awesome. Yep. I'm so super proud of him. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that is, yeah, that's really cool. So, um, so yeah, he got us up in the middle of the night one night, and that was okay. You know, nothing. We didn't think anything mm. weird. The next night, the same thing happened, even though he'd been fine during the day. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, what? You know. Yeah, and he got us up. He puked, and he had to go outside too. Yeah, and so that we're like, what's going on? And so uh -huh. either the next day, I think, or the day after that, we got him to the vet, and. Um, he was diagnosed with colitis. <laughs> mm -hmm. So got him on meds. A couple days after that, he was fine. Yeah. And then our um, AC broke. <laughs> yep. Um, Which we had kind of expected because it was an older unit. So the AC broke, broke. Right. And, and, and we, we've actually, we've been saving. Like we knew this was coming. Yeah. But it's still annoying. I mean, it's... So, yeah. yeah, the repairman came out, and he got it sort of working, like, a little bit. Um, I think it was making about a 7-degree temperature difference between inside and out. Yeah, and they gave us a loaner unit uh, to put into the window, and so that was great, but also added noise and changed our environment mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and then we got... Uh, so after about five days of that, we got... We got the new AC installed. Yep. They came to install the new AC, um, uh, which almost didn't happen because of the rain, but it happened anyway. Yeah. And uh, the guys, so Tony Kelly was the AC company we used. Yep, in Tallahassee. In Tallahassee. Awesome and company. Nothing that nothing weird that happened was because of them. We yep. had a lot of weird things that happened, and they have they dealt with everything amazingly well. Yeah, they did. Uh, so. Yep. All of the people that came in. Everybody was great. They cleaned up very well after themselves. Like, uh -huh. oh yeah. So it was, it was, it was raining in the morning when they got here. So I like laid out some towels on the floor, and I just figured, well, we'll just have to deal with it because we need this AC swapped. But uh, yeah, no, they lined our stairs with drop cloths. They lined everywhere they were walking with drop cloths. They wore uh, booties over their shoes yeah. when they came inside. and masks and everything and. Yeah, everything was, was great. Um, super, super impressed with them. Yeah, and I don't want this to go. We don't. And then it too long. But oh yeah, this isn't so, that exciting. So yeah, the AC got installed. It worked great for a couple of days, and I thought to myself um, yesterday morning. I don't remember. I think it was yesterday <laughs> morning. I thought, you know, I don't think that they checked the heat side of the heat pump. Like the AC has been working great, but you know, so. It was a, a cool morning. It was like 68 degrees outside. So I thought, this is a great time to check and make sure that the heat pump works properly. So I turned it on to heat, and it started working for about 30 seconds. <laughs> and then everything died. And, yeah. it, and nothing would come, come back. Flipped the breakers, nothing would so come back. It was broke. We'll give it to so the, 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 the long end of the, the short story is that there was a wire that went bad in our... Existing, our existing wire yeah. in the house. They came out, they diagnosed it, they swapped the wire, they got that working. But because the wire was broken, that yep. broke our thermostat, our which, smart thermostat. Which no one knew at first. Everything seemed fine, except it broke the part of the thermostat that lets it turn off. Right. So everything was fine as long as you want your AC to run 100% of the time. <laughs> right. So, so that broke. So we now have a new AC. The wire's been replaced. We have a new thermostat. New thermostat. Um, every, so 
the, the repair team, it's, that's been great. It's just been one thing after another. And mm -hmm. then also Frodo's issues came back. Yep. About three or four days after his medicine ran out, yep. it all started over again. Yep. So last night we were up again at three in the morning. Mm -hmm. And with me, um, I get stuck in fight or flight mode because of POTS. Um, I, you know, when a normal person gets, you know, surprised, shocked, awakened quickly, you know, your heart will race and you'll come back down within about a minute. Um, that doesn't happen to me. My heart rate will just continue to go up. I ended up in tachycardia with my heart rate over 100. And that I dealt with for about a half an hour, but then it was still in the 80s for like an hour and a half. And I was, I had a very difficult night. So then we got him back to the vet again today. So he's back on more mm -hmm. meds. He'll be better soon. Our AC is back. And that's what's been going on. So I've had what I wanted to do was do a whiff box <laughs> unboxing. And we've had this box in the kitchen for like a week, at least. I don't know. I ordered oh, no, it on the, the no, I ordered it on the first. I think I've had it since the third or the fourth. It's about five days. I know that what's in here and I know because I looked for spoilers and it's an amazing box and I've been dying to share it with everybody and we've just been too busy. There have been people mm -hmm. here nonstop. Um, and anyway, yep. so quick disclaimer, I have had poor sleep for about four nights. I stumble a lot when that happens. I will say the wrong thing. Dave will correct me if, I, if he catches it. We've had little sleep, so forgive me if I just say really weird things. <laughs> okay, so this is the October Whiff Box, which is Sensi has a mystery box that you can buy mm -hmm. at any point in time. And at the end, I will discuss all the different methods because people get confused about that. But this is a mystery box that you can buy each month and it has the uh, seasonal or trending topics. Sometimes it's themed. This one is themed. Hmm. Do you know what's in this? Did I ever tell you? Nope, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> All right, so hold up the whip box. Okay, so here's the box. So this is how it comes. And I wanted people to see that it's really neat because it's giftable. Like this is really presented very well. All right, so I'll show you. Okay, now we'll go through what's in here. Okay. okay. So here is the piece of paper that it comes with. And this says, bake up some fun. And it says, wait, oh, it says bake up some fun in three different languages. Yes. Ornea hermosos recuerdos. That sounds like bake some pretty memories. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Or uh, Beautiful. And then French. Une pincée de bon That's That's my shot at a French okay. exit. So what if is, you're actually French, I apologize. What's in here is uh, recipes. There is a... Oh my God. <laughs> what? It's a recipe for vanilla bean buttercream sugar cookie. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Here. Vanilla bean buttercream is a scentsy, scentsy yeah. scent. So, um, um, oh, it has flour, so we won't, you can't have uh, flour. We won't talk about what I can't. Or never sugar. Mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's a vanilla bean buttercream sugar cookie recipe. That is brilliant. That's, that's brilliant. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then that's in uh, the three languages. So, um, and then stuff on the back, which uh, I'll just skip over that. You can yeah. read it later. Okay. Okay. So, then what's in here, and it's all packaged really well. This is a fragrance flower, and since I knew that this would be in here, I will tell you, first of all, what scent is this in, and I'll show a fragrance flower. Okay, Where's so this fragrance flower is uh, buttercup, oh, vanilla bean. Vanilla bean buttercream. Oh, how about that? So this is, so that's the fragrance flower. They like, they made a box for me. Yes, I told you, okay. This is what a fragrance flower looks like when it's, when you take it out of the box and you assemble it. So what this is, is um, basically like a reed diffuser. There's, you unbox it, there's oil, this is a cotton wick, and then the petals are, um, they felt kind of like the material felt, but they're wood. Uh, it's really, really interesting. So this yeah. was dry at the beginning, and then it, wait, don't open that just yet. Just wanted to look. Okay. And so it, it soaks up the oil pretty quickly for, for, for a couple of days. And then the, these things like, wow, well, I'm shaking a lot. They pretty much last forever. This, I've had this for about six weeks. 
and um, there's still a lot of oil left. I've, I've mm -hmm. heard that they, they last for months. So this is in apples and cinnamon, but now we have one in vanilla bean buttercream. So we'll definitely mm -hmm. open that one up. Okay, so that was one item. What's next? And then, uh, then we have... <laughs> Oh, almond croissant. We have a room spray in almond croissant, which is a fantastic scent. Um, yeah, we had a bar of that. Yeah, didn't we? Yeah, I yeah, thought going. I thought going into this that because of my food restrictions that I would not really <laughs> like any of the foodie scents, but I love a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And all um, the ah, wrong words <laughs> coming out. Uh, the almond croissant I really like. So yeah. So now we have the room spray. Okay. All right. And. We'll get to the stuff like okay. Then there is a scent circle in sugar cookie. And scent circles, um, you can put them in your car, you can hang them in your closet. They're they're just really neat and mm -hmm. I like them. And sugar cookie is a good scent. You get cookie cutters in this month's with box, which is great since they gave you a recipe for cookies mm -hmm. and cookie cutters. That's brilliant. That makes sense. I think and then there's a oh, yeah, foil the bag with some, it's going to be waxes. This yeah. is how they always send wax. Frodo is down here trying to smell. <laughs> you can't see him. He's just off camera. Okay. All right. Okay. We have a bar of baked apple pie, which is really, really good. We both like this one. Let me smell that one. You like it. We've I had can't it. remember them. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. So yeah, this is a good one. It has, mm, yeah. it's got a strong cinnamon note in it, which yeah. I like. If it you like good. cinnamon, that's a, a very good baked one. Oh, cinnamon cinnamon buttercream. Butter okay, this one is ridiculous. This good. one is amazing. It's amazing. It's kind of too good. It's almost too good. Like it's better than vanilla bean buttercream. It is so good. But it's kind of too good. No, it's not. It, it, it's good. It's mm -hmm. good. Okay. And this is, wait, is this before I, I don't want to talk about this just yet. Thing. Okay. So this is a tester cup for icicles and evergreen. And so this is a cool thing about getting the whiff box. This will be the scent of the month next month. So, so for, for November. November. Now, um, so you get a sneak peek and the way that. Um, I'll open it. The way that you use these is you open up the top. Which is my job. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I can't open anything. I'm I just... open kind of 99% of the items in our house. Okay. Let's, okay. let's see what this smells like. Ooh, that smells good. Hmm. That is very good. Icicles and Evergreen. That's a good name. That. It'll be good in November. So what you can do with this is one, you don't have to do anything besides smell it. But if you want to use it, you can also just tear off the top and turn it upside down, the, the wax won't fall out. You can turn it upside down into your warmer and just wait and, and the wax will liquefy, come out of the cup and go into your warmer. And then you can just throw the cup away and then you can see what the scent is like. So it's a really, really neat way to get a sneak peek of, of what's coming and know if you're going to want to buy the next month because the scent of the month for each month is discounted. And that way, you know, if you like this this month, you can buy it next month when it's on sale. Yeah. So that's so that's cool. The whip boxes, I think they're really neat. So I'll talk about the pricing real quick because I often talk about the whip box and Scentsy Club at the same time and it confuses people. So what's the normal price? So whip this whip box is $30 mm -hmm. and it will always contain more than $30 worth of stuff in it. I believe the retail value of everything here is $39 and that's just including the um, Scentsy items I haven't, this is the first time I've seen a non sensey item in the whip box, so obviously this, you can't figure out what this is worth, but. It's priceless. It's priceless. <laughs> okay, so this, this was about $39 worth of stuff that you get for $30, and also you get to see what the next month's mm -hmm. scent of the month will be. Now, a really cool thing you can do is you can immediately get 10% off with the whip box if you use Scentsy Club, and this is where people are like, they think that the, the, these are the same thing. They're not. You can buy with box today, $30, order it, good deal. Mm -hmm. And it's just a one-time deal. It's a one-time deal. Um, the Sensi Club is a subscribe and save option, if you've ever used that in, anywhere else like Amazon. 
Um, so there are different options. You can set something up to be monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly. They should have called it subscribe and save. I know, but I bet <laughs> Amazon. I bet it was on trade Probably. <laughs> but so let's say you wanted to set up a monthly subscription for um, Sensi Club, and then you can set up to get your consumable items. That means not a warmer. That's not a consumable, but wax, whiff boxes, um, cotton cleanups, cotton cleanups, the room sprays. Ninety-five percent of what yeah. you buy is a consumable. Most and then. When you, um, with Sunseat Club, once you have $30 worth of stuff in your cart, everything is 10% off. The whip box is $30. So, start a, a, a Sunseat Club subscription monthly, add the whip box, boom, it's 10% off. Let's say you just want to buy it once. Okay, set up a Sunseat Club, order it, say, you know, you can choose to have it ship right away. And then after processes, you cancel it. There, there's mm -hmm. no, you, you're not committed, there's no big deal. So that's a way to instantly get a 10% off. Then also with Sensi Club, um, there are a lot of other perks. And uh, should I talk about that now or later? No, no, later. Okay, on. so that's how you can instantly get 10% off. And then and if you like it, you can just set and forget and get it every month. And cool. I highly recommend the Whipbox to anyone new to Sensi. Um, there will always be wax in it. So if you have a warmer, you're good to go. But it's a really great way. I mean, just to recap, there were so two bars of wax, a fragrance flower, and this is something that you know you might enjoy for yourself or gift to somebody. Um, they're really great for um, so set throw with a fragrance flower. It's a really good small space item for your desk, mm -hmm. a bathroom. Um, a lot of people give them to teachers as gifts, uh, or they're good at a cubicle in an office because you're not going to smell it in the next cubicle over and you won't bother anybody. Yeah, it's more contained. Yeah, and so it's um, it's a good personal fragrance item that looks nice but won't bother anyone else. So that's great for a workplace. So two bars, a fragrance flower, um, a room spray, and the tester cup as a sneak peek, and then a recipe and cookie cutters. And the scent circle. And the scent circle, thank you. I almost mm -hmm. forgot about that. So these are really cool. And um, so if you like baked goods and foodie scents, this box is fantastic. The later you wait in the month, you can order this month's box all the way until the last day of this month. However, the later in the month that you wait, the more likely one of these items might be swapped out for something comparable. If they run out. If they run out. So even though I'm telling you what's in this box, if you order this on the last day of the month, you'll, you'll probably get a fragrance flower, two bars, and all these things, but the scents in the sense will probably be baked related, but they might not be these exact. Okay. So, so that is know. the whip box. Cool. I have been dying to make this video. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I have a lot more things coming. I have so much to share. There were three boxes in the kitchen from Sunsi, and uh, so we needed to make this so that we can clean up. Yep. Well, now we have a nice air conditioned house. Yes. And hopefully, Frodo um, will sleep through the night tonight. Yes. Hopefully, a healthy dog, and hopefully, no more people going in and out. <sighs> so. We've had people in our house every day. We're mm -hmm. not used to that. Uh -huh. We're introvert. Homebodies. We're introvert to the <laughs> highest level that you can possibly imagine. We're, we're like expert introverts. This was very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. So, um, but if you watch this whole thing, um, thank you. If you if you like this, I will be um, posting this on YouTube as well. Um, so you might end up watching this later on YouTube. And I really appreciate it if you would like and share with someone uh, that mm -hmm. you think might be interested. Yeah. So. All right. All right. So I hope you guys are all doing well and have a great weekend. And we will talk to you later. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye.